happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you're having a fun day today. I have lasagna in the oven. I'm about to make some fondue and there's a fun game that I'm gonna play with the family tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Nothing too spectacular, but I do have my Valentine's made and I haven't given them out because I'm gonna put them on their plates for dinner. So I just made these little hearts and they say, you're mine. It's what's on the back that's kind of fun. I found a website and I will link it down below where you can generate how many days, weeks, months, minutes, seconds, all that stuff that you've known somebody. I set it to when Joe and I had our anniversary and also I set it for the kids' birthdays. And I think that they'll have fun because they're into numbers and stuff like that. So I'm going to put that on there plates for dinner tonight. I was wondering, do you have a Valentine's Day movie that you like to watch? Um, back in my single years, and I was single for, well, what I thought was quite a while, I loved watching Sweet Home Alabama. I remember one year, I, I've never really had a Valentine until Joe came along, a significant other on Valentine's Day. And so I would buy my own Valentine's for myself and I remember buying Sweet Home Alabama and watching it in my basement bedroom late into the night and I'd watch it over and over again and just dream and I wasn't ever really sad on Valentine's Day but I was just hopeful I guess you'd say and I remember also um, one time in college it was my first year of college so my freshman year and all of my roommates had boyfriends. There were six of us that lived in an apartment together. They all had boyfriends and my room roommate, she was actually had, she got engaged, let's see, four, I think it was four or five days before Valentine's Day. And her fiance had brought in all of these balloons and flowers and lovely things into our bedroom and snuck them in for her and made a sign with a heart and it said our eternal love and blah, 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 blah. And I was really excited for her. And then the day before Valentine's Day, if I remember correctly, it was her birthday. So then he brought her more stuff, Valentine's Day stuff. The guy that I was kind of dating worked with her fiance. And we'd kind of set the whole thing up thinking, oh, it would be so great if we both got married to these best friends because they were friends from work and we could live in the same neighborhood together and it would just be so much fun. And I kind of found myself getting wrapped up in the, the idea, the, the wonderment of Valentine's Day and of love and thinking, oh, maybe this guy is going to bring me all of this wonderful stuff and I'm going to make it just be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful and I'll have balloons and cake and candies all of my own. And so, because I was so set on this idea, having watched my roommate go through it in those last, in those days, I decided to do something a little drastic myself. So at that time in my life, I was taking a musical theater class and I was learning a song called I Get a Kick Out of You from the musical Anything Goes. I'll leave a link to it down below so you can listen to it <clears throat> if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I decided to put dance moves to it and the, I decided that I was going to serenade this guy that I was sort of kind of dating on Valentine's Day because I just knew that he was going to give me all of these great things like my roommate was getting from her fiance. So I had some friends, some guy friends come over and I practiced having, I'd have them sit on a chair and I performed this I Get a Kick Out of You song. I had this dance just down, it was like, it was a great dance. I thought I was awesome. So Valentine's Day comes and all these people had helped me practice this performance number and they wanted to come and watch. But I wanted to make sure that I was gonna get a Valentine and I was gonna feel loved from this guy that I'd kind of dated a little bit. My roommate's fiance actually took him to Walmart to get a card. And then it was arranged that he was gonna come over at a specific time to deliver my Valentine to me and then I was going to perform. So all these people were gathered in our apartment. He came and he sat down in the chair. The music started playing and I started doing my little singy thing. And well, let me show you the picture. Make sure you look at this guy's face. If 
if you can't tell, the guy was humiliated. He was not all that excited about, not just about me, but he was dying over the fact that I was performing this number for him and professing my love through this song, this very cheesy, cheesy song. I did get my Valentine. Here it is, I saved it. This is the card that he sent, he gave me. Remember, he was kind of coerced into going to Walmart to get me this card. Let me just read you inside what it says. I haven't read this in quite a few years. But it says, Angie, I am not much for writing and the card section, and the card is really corny, but it's all that Walmart had. You're awesome. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and drink a lot of milk. And then he signed his name. Yep, I got my Valentine and I got to do some performing, which was great for my class. But he came over the next day, had a really long talk with me, told me he wasn't interested in me at all. And within a week, he was engaged to the girl that lived upstairs. So what did I learn from all of this? Well, first of all, I learned not to make such a big deal out of Valentine's Day. I learned that he wasn't my true love, and I learned that it was okay. It wouldn't be until nine years later that I would meet my true, true love, and that's Joe. I remember the first Valentine's Day that I spent with Joe, and it was really romantic. We went up into the mountains of Utah, and we had this cowboy dinner with a few other couples. We actually got to go on a on a sleigh with horses through the snow, through the mountains and fields. So fast forward 13 years into marriage and I've come to learn a really important lesson. I now know through, I guess you'd say my maturity, that true love isn't in balloons and flowers and candy, although those are fun things too. True love is in simple acts of kindness, like taking out the garbage or squeezing somebody's hand or giving someone a hug and really meaning it, or just having a listening ear there for you. And I hope that that's something that I can share with my daughter so that in the future, when she goes through all of her ups and downs of love, that she can know and be able to recognize what true love is.